What is the most disturbing thing you've stumbled upon while browsing the internet? That video where the mom gets killed from a brick flying through the windshield. I was young and the screaming from the dad still haunts me. Honestly at some point between Rotten.com and the beheading videos on the early 2000s. Everything started blurring together. Maybe the Luke Magnotta videos? Or three guys one hammer. Some woman in Mexico having her arms cut off and then being killed in front of the whole village. No one seemed to be freaked out by the sheer horror of the event. Was like it was a Wednesday. The pizza man that was abducted. Had a bomb strapped to him. Forced to enter a bank. And explodes while surrounded by cops as he's screaming, they're going to blow me up. Quote dot. A video of a man getting his head cut off while his teenage son watches. Right before the teenage son's chest gets cut open and his heart ripped out. Looking through the comments. It looks like I am one of the few that actually actively avoided real gore videos my whole life. Man. I clicked on the thread to try and drop some snarky joke like, Reddit, but it turns out I have been living the most vanilla, blissfully ignorant internet life ever. I'm going to keep it that way. Thank you, internet strangers, for making me realize I am actually blessed. And also for making me realize I need some parental controls that are robust AF for when my son starts using the internet. Video of a kid that got ran over by a truck. She was splatted all over the road and her mom was on her knees crying and trying to pick up the pieces of flesh and hug them. Edit. I don't have a link. I actually saw it here on a subreddit that got banned. Can't remember the name though. There was a video of a man who killed himself by blowing his face off with a shotgun. Music played shortly after his dog went over and got blood on him. Cops arrived on scene minutes after. Even though it was terrible was actually very very helpful to me. Seeing suicide by gun so raw took all the romance out of it. So I'm not going to kill myself. Not ever. Not after seeing what it's really like fuck no. I'm going to live. I've seen a lot of gore stuff. But that's not what I find the most disturbing. A lot of the true stories of frayed up stuff people do to each other is what I find disturbing. Things like the story of Sylvia Likens. A 16-year-old girl that was basically tortured to death by an entire town. Stuff like the Canadian guy who beheaded a completely innocent man on public transit in front of a group of people and then was released back into the public soon after. The Japanese guy who literally ate parts of a woman he killed and then never went to prison because of incompetent police work. The same guy later became a celebrity over the event. It bothers me way more when an event takes large groups of people to happen. It's crazy how easily it is to get masses of people to do awful things and how incompetence leads to the freedom of so many terrible people. Been out drinking with a couple of friends and we were sitting around the computer eating pizza and looking at weird shit when up pops this series of photos of a young woman documenting her self-harm. Sobered up very fucking quickly and promised myself not to go down that rabbit hole ever again. You don't need that shit in your head trust me. Don't go down this rabbit hole, you have been warned. I've seen a lot but what has scared me the most is the adult male sticking his head into her vag. Like why? A woman who hung herself on a fan. And the fan got switched on and started spinning. What's worse was in the comments. People got off to that video. An uncle of mine was recently posted on a few websites. He's a serial killer. Who killed both my great grandparents. Someone posted a link way back on Reddit about a girl having sex with a fucking ladder. Was called something like, stepladder. Edit. Here. HTTPS. 
www.pornhub.com slash view underscore video dot php view key equals ph 60 f 7 a 4 b 4 5 7 6 5 e is the link the video of the Taliban slowly cutting off the Americans head with a knife when I was a little kid I was at my babysitters waiting for the bus she had a computer and gasp internet. Poor me and her six other kids wanted to look up random websites because the internet was new and amazing. So we started typing in things we liked. Eventually we tried out horselovers.com. Because of course a group of seven girls loves horses. It was not the kind of horse loving we expected. Much less even new existed. A girl accidentally killing her cousin and then herself. Edit. Don't reply with the fucking link dumbass. The guy who shot himself with his shotgun live streaming it. He was a Christian. Going through some rough times. And when you think he would just end the video. He blew his head off. And it isn't like what the movies portray it at all. It was messy. Like. I don't want to describe it. But it was just. Messy. And hash x200b. It shook me. Completely. For Halloween my dog groomer friend said she'd dye my greyhound's hair however I wanted. I was thinking zebra stripes or a skeleton but I googled, dying greyhounds, for inspiration and it. Wasn't a good idea.